Okay, here's some more on the simple wireless system again, and filling your screen right now is um, 45 foot of coax. And behind it is another one, exactly the same, and these are to go on for more experiments. But uh, there's a few things about uh, about this setup now. Here's the original circuit, and as you can see, there's the collector. And what I've done is to run at higher voltages above a AAA. I was going to use um, a resistor about 1k to 3k say like Mongrel Shark has done but um, I kept blowing bulbs and things when I was trying to limit the current and on the off chance I tried water and I put the two connections that separate that now separate the base connection into water and uh, lo and behold here we are with a 3.7 volt lithium ion. If I connect up you can see that that light comes on, it's only quite dim because sometimes I've been running on 12 volts but it shows that the wireless energy is there and we do get uh, electrolysis which is where there's a bit of muck in there but the circuit starts up so if we have, uh, I don't know, say that one there and we can put another one here oh, loads of acreage as it were put another one down there and of course these things can move around wherever we wish. Um, if I take the big one here and put that, now you can see it's got a bicolor LED on it that's red and blue. So there's the, the distance we're starting at. And we can travel upward. It changes to blue there which is quite interesting. Red again. And so there's quite some distance. And there we are so these more tuning will be going on and what have you um, to get uh, what you might call out of the induction range and out of the Hertzian stuff but that's what these are, they're called BACs uh, big ass coils <laughs> uh, 24 turns each so now another thing that this will do which I thought was really quite interesting indeed here is an LED bulb and it's one of the mains, normally goes in the main socket if I put it across the two connections, there we go. That night light is now running from the circuit. So that was pretty good. I'll carry on in a few minutes with. Oh no, I won't, I'll do it now. Over here, we've got another pancake coil, and it's got a transistor on it. And Mongrel Shark again showed the 30 volt peak to peak he was getting with a transistor on board as though it was one of the simple systems. So if I connect up, to the collector connection in the middle there. Now you can see here we have an LED and a V plug and you can see there we are we've got wireless over here on the one wire and there's actually we might call a bit of range on that too all around so that's rather good on the one wire. There we go. Okay I'll carry on in a couple of seconds. OK, I've changed over to this drill battery which is about at 10 volts. You can see that the light's on a lot better now to show the wireless energy. You can see that that thing is now blazingly bright. Oh, I might as well have a look at a bit of range on that. Oh, yeah. Alright. And the big coil should be a lot better too. Oh yes, we're off. That's not bad. So it's a bit, all, all gets a bit stronger. But hey, look at this. That's an LED in that water. And it's lit up. No wires on it, no AV plug. I'll turn the light off actually. Check that out. Huh. Alright, next one coming up. While we've got the light off, you know that bulb I showed? Watch this. Place it in the water. And the bulb comes on. Just sat in the water. And finally for inside the house, we'll do the one wire and see what we get from this.
Oh yeah, that's not bad, is it? In fact, will it reach all the way over? Oh no, not quite. Ah, mind you, it's not bad above the coil there. That's um, that's rather good. And back down to there. So what? Uh, up to there. Runs out there and comes back there. <laughs> <laughs> right, and the final thing today you know that mains LED light, the night light that was over there, it's now not I'll show you where it is there's the single wire coming out I'll show you where it's leading I don't know if you can see, but past the shed there a total of over 60 feet away is that bulb. So, so to get the flashlight. So what we've got, there we are, single wire. Which is leading all this way. We'll have a walk over. There we are, I can see it now. But it's past the shed this time. And here we are. There's the night light running and it's over 60 feet away from the circuit and it's on one wire. Now why I needed the flashlight, you can see I've got the wire coming in, there's the single wire, it comes to one side and then out from the other side is a piece of copper into the ground. I've also got this pancake here which I'll connect to this line here and show you if we've got wireless outside. So I'll connect this up. Here's that tester thing. And sure enough, we have wireless outside over 60 feet away. I'll turn the flashlight off actually. I can show it better. There we go. And there's the bulb on. Okay, thanks for watching.